Coach, for another fantastic day at SCC's for the Gamecocks, let's start with our two podium finishers. Eric, third place in the shot put. Jan, third place in the long jump. Two veterans that brought their A games tonight, scored big points for you. I know you're proud of them. Very proud of them. You know, we uh, getting top three in SEC and then all SEC is a tremendous honor. This is the toughest conference in the country, and to have those two young men come through for their team, it really is a good setup for our team. Heads us toward the regional meet. It gives us a chance to score, meet our goals here, and so I'm just proud of those two. Both of them uh, came through. Your uh, two multi-event athletes also put points on the board. Matilda and Ben uh, both got it done. Uh, both of them ran uh, really good final races. Matilda in the 800, and Ben was good in the pole vault as well as the 15. It, it was good to see them get on the board at SEC. It is. You know, having fr young kids, freshmen coming through in this meet is awesome for us. It gives hope for the future. But we were real pleased with that. Our coaches did a good job bringing them through. That's a tough event. And it's uh, first time this year for Ben to get all the way through an event, that event. And so we're proud of him. He scored in both indoors and outdoors. And then Matilda got her first point scored in the SEC championship. So Let's rewind to last night in the women's 10K. Heather Stone with that fourth place finish, uh, historic finish, maybe the best for the Gamecocks uh, in, in almost 20 years. Uh, that distance crew, we've talked about them a lot, but Coach Alden's group continues to do big things. And Heather uh, maybe put an exclamation point on it last night. Yeah, our kids love each other and they run for each other. And they train together and they make each other smile. I love the joy they get out of the group when one of them succeeds. That whole group had a great, great night running there. AK had a good run in it, and it looks like she might get a chance to be at the regional track meet. And then Heather did a wonderful job, came through and got that big score and moved that group up and has got a lot of recognition for our, our distance group. And we've been pleased with them all year long. And so to bring that to, to a total package at the SEC and score is outstanding for them with the hard work they put in. Let's end on this. Uh, you got five finalists, I think, tomorrow night. Isaiah will run for a, a third career SEC medal in the 110 hurdles, and then two each in the men's and women's 400, Quincy, Arenzi, Wadi, and, and Aliyah, uh, all four with uh, with good chances to get on the podium, maybe even the top spot on the podium. Quincy, obviously the indoor champion. Uh, those five, uh, you expected them to get through to Saturday night, and they got it done. They'll join Otis tomorrow, so I know you're proud of that group. Oh, yeah, outstanding. I mean, we're, our kids are doing the things that uh, we expected them to gonna to do. Our coaches brought them through. They trained them well. They got them here, prepared it to meet, and uh, we're going to come. Our kids are coming through. They're living up to the expectations. I'm proud of them, and I'm proud to be a Gamecock, and I'm glad those kids are excited about the University of South Carolina. Thank you, Coach. Should be a good Saturday. It should be a great one.